Welcome to week two. I'm Angela, your professor for project time management. For week two, one of your assignments is to create a work breakdown structure for your deck project and enter it into Microsoft Project. So I created this video in the hopes of helping you create that work breakdown structure and show you how to enter it into Microsoft Project. So the first step in uh, creating uh, a work breakdown structure for Microsoft Project is to sketch it out on uh, paper to get an idea before you start entering it. So I'm going to show you um, how to create and enter a work uh, breakdown structure for a bicycle. So here is an example of a work breakdown structure for a bicycle. You can see we have level one is the bicycle, level two is your deliverables of the different systems, and then level three goes down to the work packages or the individual tasks. For your deck project, your level one will be your deck project. Your level two will be your different deliverables of, or phases of the deck design and build. You will have a project management uh, deliverable. You will probably have a, a design deliverable, um, a layout and plan deliverable. Um, you will probably have a foundations, which is your posts and footing as a level two. Uh, framing will be one of the uh, deliverables and stairs and then railing and skirting as your probably your second level. Your third level you'll then break those deliverables down into tasks or work packages. So once you have uh, figured out what you want your work breakdown structure to look like you can then enter it into Microsoft Project. So let's go to Microsoft Project and we will open up a blank project and we will enter in all of our deliverables, sub-deliverables and work packages for the bicycle into Microsoft Project. So we just start typing. So the first thing we need to do is our project, which is the bicycle itself. Then we can put in one of our deliverables, which is the frame set. And Under the frame set we have um, the work packages of uh, the frame the handlebar, the fork, the seat, the crank set is another deliverable. Uh, then we have the wheels is another deliverable. Under the wheels we have the work packages of the front wheel and the rear. Then we have the braking system, the shifting system, and then the integration. And under integration we have the concept, the design, the assembly, the testing, and then we have a deliverable of project management which every project should have uh, a like of that. So there's all our projects, our deliverables, and all our work packages. But as you can see, uh, things are indented or coded, and that's what we'll want to do next. So to uh, set up the coding system, you're going to go to the um, Format tab, and then you're going to click on outline number and as you can see we now have uh, all these numbers but they're not the numbers that we had in our PowerPoint slide so we had oh, sorry going to our bike project there we go as you can see we had 1, uh, 1.1, 1.6 so that's what we want to recreate in Microsoft Project so the bicycle was 1, that's good, but we want the frame set to be 1.1. So what you need to go is back to the tabs task, or the task tab, and we're going to indent it. And as you can see, we now get the frame set. Now the frame comes under the frame set, and we want it as 1.1.1. So we need to indent it twice to get it as 1.1.1. 
Handlebar as well comes under the frame set, so we want to indent it twice. The fork as well, indent it twice. Again, the seat, so I put the cursor on the seat, and then I indent it twice. Now the crank set was a deliverable, so I want it as 1.2, so I just need to indent that once. The wheels were deliverable, and we want them as 1.3. The front wheel needs to come under the wheel, so I want it as 1.3.1, which means I indent it twice. Same with the rear wheel, I want it as 1.3.2, so I indent it twice. And the braking system, I want it as a deliverable, so it needs to be 1.4, so I just indent it once. Same with the shifting system, indent it once. Integration, we want it as 1.6, so we need to indent it once. And the concept comes under integration, so we need to indent it twice. Same with design and assembly and testing. And project management was a deliverable, so we want it as 1.7. And that's everything you need to do for this week as far as entering a work breakdown structure. However, you will be creating this for your deck project. Hopefully this video helps, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or call me.